is the terrible lighting and the absolute greasy state of me, but I'm back in Bali. I have literally not recorded anything since I last was here. <laughs> Even though I went to Singapore, I went to Spain, I went back home to the UK, and I've just been in Vietnam for over, just over two weeks. Oh, I just, I think like, I've been really trying to video for TikTok and um, I just always forget to video like horizontal for YouTube. So um, yeah, apologies for the lack of content. I was meant to spend like two months in Vietnam, um, planned to spend a month in Hanoi now, um, but honestly we got there and it was like cloudy, 16 degrees, just not the vibe. And I love Hanoi, it's one of my favorite places in Vietnam, but I was like, ugh, really? Like I left England because I don't like gray clouds. So yesterday morning, four, had to get up at 4.30, flew from Hanoi down to Ho Chi Minh, stayed in Ho Chi Minh last night, but <laughs> finished work at midnight, and then had to get up at half three to go to the airport this morning. My flight is seven to Bali. Um, and then, yeah, did not miss Bali traffic. So uh, didn't really get to where I'm staying till like half two-ish, and then maybe three even, and then started work at five and I'm working till one. So tomorrow I am very excited to have a lay in and I've done a load of work today. So I think if the weather's nice tomorrow, it was a beautiful sunny day when I arrived today. So yeah, I think um, if the weather's nice tomorrow, I will go to Alternative Beach for the day and get a tan because I'm very pale right now. But yeah. Hello. Um, I forgot to video anything this morning, but I went and spent the day at Alternative Beach, which is literally, I'm staying two roads away from it, so ideal. Um, got a little bit sunburnt on my forehead and <laughs> apparently I missed a few patches with my sun cream but it's really <laughs> really weird patches but anyway then I went and took myself for a massage and I've just got back it's quarter to five so I'm going to order some dinner soon um and do some work and I just came back and there is an owl where I'm staying it's Friday um once again back in Bali the weeks go so fast here I'm just getting ready to head to a spin class at cycle i've been before and i really enjoyed it and i need to get my ass in gear and do some exercise so yeah books on it's like six pounds a class so not too bad um but yes yeah, so i'm about to walk there now and look at my sunburn from yesterday so bad <laughs> Okay, so I'm just back from spin and showered now. Um, look at my sunburn, it's so painful. Um, actually, this bit's not too bad, but my stomach's very burnt. Um, 
I was hoping it would be brown by today, but it's not and it's so patchy. It literally looks like someone's thrown boiling hot water on me or something. Um, anyway, spin was really good. Um, always enjoy it there. It's just such a, like, I just love getting up in the morning. I mean, I don't because it's always a struggle to get out of bed, let's be real. But after the class or after I've done the exercise, I'm always like, oh, that was so good. Um, and then I just walked back. I saw like a new, well, I don't know if it's new or not, but I've never seen it before. Um, place called Delhi, which is like really cute. I'll put a picture of it in. Um, but yeah, it looks really cute. And they do like um, sandwiches and coffee. So went there and picked up a nice coffee for the walk home. Um, and it was really good, great coffee. Um, I'm really enjoying where I'm staying at the moment. It's like uh, down the bottom of Batu Bolong, so like near Mason Alternative Beach, um, not far from Batu Bolong Beach. And oh, it's just so nice being able to walk everywhere because the last time I was here, the place where I was living was a bit further out. Um, it was like up near Bali MMA, which if you know Bali, it's like you can't then walk to like the main parts of Changu or even really to Barawa because it's just so busy. Um, so yeah, I'm really enjoying being able to just walk around. The weather is so nice at the moment as well. We did have a thunderstorm last night, but um, yeah, generally beautiful weather this morning. So yeah, I've just come back and showered. Um, and I don't really know what to do. I might go, I might take my laptop and go and do some work in one of the cafes. Don't know which one yet, so we'll keep you posted. And then I have work tonight, but my tattooist, Maddie, he, um, he basically messaged me the other day because when I went and got this uh, cover up done by him back in June last year, I just filmed like a little TikTok and I'm not a, like a TikTok influencer. I literally have like a thousand followers. So um, like I just kind of do it for fun really. But anyway, it's only had like 3000 views. So it's not like gone viral or anything, but he messaged me uh, a couple of nights ago, just saying that he's had like a load of clients go say that they found their Instagram through my TikTok. So he's like given me a free tattoo voucher, which to be honest, there's more tattoos I want him to do anyway. Um, so that was great. But anyway, he's having a party tonight um, to like celebrate his business. Um, so he's invited me to that, but annoying it's like when I'm working. So I'm gonna see if I can maybe pop there on my lunch break. Really nice to see him and yeah, just support him because he is honestly like the best tattooer artist I've had. He's done six out of my 11 tattoos. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna get ready and try and decide where to go. So I'm currently working. I'm gonna go up to Maddie's business celebration opening party thing in like an hour. I'm gonna go on my lunch break, just pop in for a bit. I feel bad though, because it's so last minute, I don't have like a gift or anything to take with me to say like, congrats, but he only told me last night. So what can you do? Or well, the night before, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, I'm really over this accommodation. Um, the Wi-Fi is so bad, like definitely the worst Wi-Fi I've had in Bali for sure. And it's really dark and like just not like very vibey. Um, and also there's flies everywhere. Like I've honestly killed maybe like 50 flies since I've been here and I've only been here two nights. Um, and like so many mosquitoes as well and I can't figure out where they're coming from. So yeah, won't be staying here again. 
um, but luckily I'm moving in the morning so I'm actually just literally moving a couple of roads down um, so don't have to move far but I'm praying that this next place is nice because I'm staying there for two weeks so I really hope it's good um, if not if the wi-fi is shit I'm gonna have to get like a one month membership to Tropical Nomad or something like that. So like at least I can go there. They do like a nighttime, night owl, like discounted one, um, which obviously applies to me because it starts at 5 p.m., which is when I start. So I'll do that, but it's not ideal because it's like 90 pounds and you have to get a month's worth. And they don't do a two week option. So yeah, a bit annoying, but what can you do? Watching the northern lights. That's like all the Asian Morning. It's Saturday. Um, I've just moved house. Um, it's quite cute. Like a huge room. I've actually got like a balcony and a view, which is quite nice. But I did a speed test, and I have a feeling the Wi-Fi is even worse here. Um, it's so mad to me that like, there's so many expats and digital nomads and stuff in Bali, but it's so hard to find decent Wi-Fi. But anyway, um, I've got a really bad headache today. I went to Maddie's thing last night, just for a bit. And I only had one, no, two beers. And I woke up this morning with such a bad headache, but I think maybe I just need to eat. Um, I haven't eaten yet and it's like half 12 or something. Um, I can't decide what to do. I'm meeting um, someone to like watch the sunset later. Hopefully it, there's actually a decent sunset. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure what to do. I was thinking of maybe heading to Seminyak and going to either Kind or Coffee Cartel um, undecided. Okay, so this is where my night gets a bit crazy. I ended up going out and meeting some brand new friends and we went and played pool and then we went to Old Man's but it was absolutely torrential raining as you can see from this video like it did not stop all night and then after that we went to the vault but i am not a big fan of the vault so i didn't stay for very long just back from night out fucking pissed it down the whole time. I'm absolutely drenched. Um, yeah, you can't see me. But I am soaked through uh, because thankfully I managed to get a Gojack, but he didn't have a raincoat or a helmet. So currently yeah, very wet right now and I really need food as well. Sunday morning I went and chilled at my new friend's pool. This is where they're staying, it's so nice. And then we decided to head to La Brissa for the Sunday market. And they had the most cute puppies um, up for adoption. Like, look at the size of this one. He was so tiny, she was so tiny. Um, honestly, I had to do everything in my willpower not to take her home with me. Um, but yeah, it was such a vibe here at La Brissa. I really enjoyed having a look at the market. Hello, um, Sunday evening. I've had a really fun weekend actually. Um, I was feeling a bit lonely yesterday because all my friends in Bali have left at the moment. So I didn't know anyone here. Um, and I always feel a bit like at the weekend I should be going out and doing something because, or during the week I can't because I'm working. Um, so I went on Bumble BFF and I ended up matching with uh, this Canadian girl who invited me out with her and her boyfriend um, last night. 
Uh, we went and like played pool. Oh, I actually got, got dinner at Mason first. Um, then we went and played pool. Some others joined us too. Um, so in the end there was like seven or eight of us, I think. Um, and then today we, uh, me and the Canadian girl went for brunch and then we went back to her homestay, chilled by the pool, did some sunbathing. Then we headed to La Brissa for the Sunday market and then it started, oh my God, we were planning on staying until sunset and it started absolutely chucking it down. Um, so we went bowling instead at Finn's Rec Club, which I haven't been bowling probably for like 10 years. Like I'm so bad at it. Um, and then I decided to come back and chill because now we are going to Lola's for dinner. Um, so there's, I think seven of us going for dinner, which is nice considering yesterday I had no friends. So yeah.